Uh oh. Wabbit twacks. Those aren't wabbit twacks. Those are raccoon tracks. Yeah, they're I really everywhere really out here. Down that one. Definitely. Oh, that, yeah, those are raccoon tracks. They're back. And they're snooping around out here. Let's check it out. There's some of our tracks here, but look at this. Yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere out here. Hungry, hungry raccoons. Hungry, hungry hippos. Well, they came to the right place, right? Noisiest neighborhood in the known universe. Welcome to Smoky Goodness on a day when we're going to do something that I've been wanting to do for about a month. One of the accessories that came with the grill dome, a chicken sitter. So we're going to do a drunken chicken. Can't call it beer can chicken. Can't call it beer butt chicken. Well, I guess you could call it beer butt chicken. Because the uh, chicken sitter is going right up Henrietta's butt. So <laughs> let's get on with the preparation. It's a nice day out here, so I'm going to do all that outside. It's 50 degrees. We had that what is it, the Arctic, or the polar vortex here about a week, week and a half ago. It was miserable. This is nice. Why am I wearing a coat? It holds my microphone. Stick around, Herb. So, what's in the bag, Dad? Let's find out. I was uh, having a difficult time trying to decide which rub to use. Got uh, Tango Spice Chicken Rib Rub. Got Kirby Q Chicken Rub. And we have... Uh, uh, Knox Spice, yummy chicken. All three great. I love all three of them. Couldn't decide, so this is what I decided on. Calhorn Pepper Company. This is local. This is kind of an organic pork and poultry rub. It's made right here in town, so that's the first thing in the bag, of course. This is what the chicken's going to have up her butt. We need a little pepper. Gotta have beer. That's beer can chicken or beer butt chicken without beer. Some salt. All right, down here I've got a bowl. In this bowl, I've got half a stick of unsalted butter. It's not really room temperature yet. It's still kind of cold, so therefore I've got a fork to start it. I'm gonna make the rub right now. Oh, can't forget the most important thing. The most important component is right here. This is Henrietta. Henrietta is a true free range chicken. Henrietta was very, very expensive, so let's get Henrietta ready. Okay, you're going to have to roll your sleeves up for this one, kids. Let's start with half a stick of unsalted butter, which, like I said, is not at room temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of fork it a little bit. Cowhorn Pepper Company, not famous, just good. Hopefully I can make them famous, huh? Put in a mm, couple of teaspoons of that. Some pepper. Pepper is always essential, right? And of course, salt. Oh man, shut up, helicopter. My hands are clean. See that? Huh? 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 <laughs> All right. We're just gonna get in here. We're just gonna mix this up as best we can. This could take a few minutes because, like I said, the butter is still cold. Jesus. Hey, Mr. Maestro Music Man, drop the audio out. Put in some music for this, okay, will you? This is ridiculous. Damn helicopters, dogs. <laughs> I think they know when I come out here. Hey, Dan's going outside to record Smoky Goodness. We'd better bring as much noise as we can. That thing is so close, I can almost feel the uh, draft from the <laughs> chopper blades. Man, this dude is right overhead, coming in for a landing. Man. Here's our uh, star, Henrietta. Anyway, what we're going to do, I'm going to get up under the skin here like this. Trying not to tear it. I'm going to apply some of this rub. Shut up, dog. All under the skin here. Just like that. All right. Get her covered real well. 
top and bottom. Shut up, dog. Shut up, dog. I'm warning you. I mean it, dog. Shut up. I got this, Dan. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. All right. Doesn't look too good right now, but it'll look better once it's on the grill. There we go. Okay, hey, Mr. Maestro Music, dude, uh, the chopper's gone. Play some music now. No, 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 no. And didn't I tell you never to play this tune again, ever? I like it. Never means never. I don't care what you think of it, it sucks. Don't play it again, play something else. this? What are you, summoning the Dark Lord? Play something good. Now. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Music dude. You don't play something good in the next five seconds, it's gonna be your butt with a can in it. <laughs> That's better. Jeez. And the grill dome is slowly coming up to temperature. And here we go. Isn't that cool? And I've got a funky looking uh, makeshift drip pan under there. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna pour it in. And as Root Boy says, Root Boy Slim Sal, we're gonna let Henrietta quap the frock off of this Killian's. Of course I'm gonna help. We go. Close the lid and we're gonna let this go for um, an hour. It could take an hour 15 minutes, it may take an hour and a half. Going for a temperature of uh, about 170 internal at the breast, thickest part of the breast. We're gonna run the grill dome about 350 for the duration. So kick back, relax, smoke them if you got them, drink them if you brought them. Okay, the corn looks to be done. The chicken smells like she's ready. And of course you want to be really, really careful with this. There's probably still quite a good amount of beer in there and it's going to be hot, so there we go. Yeah, it is really heavy. That spread, ladies and gentlemen, huh? There's our chicken. What else do we have? I love olives. These are organic olives of all different kinds, varieties, shapes, and sizes. We have sushi. There's the corn over there. More sushi. Got some uh, tomatoes. Some uh, broccoli over there. That broccoli rocks. That's non bread, right? No, it's a pita. Oh, pita. can't tell with this dark picture. And over here, this is... Those are fruit salad. Banana, peach, pineapple, top strawberry toppings, and then there's strawberry inside, fresh, organic, and of course, the wheat bread. Wow. Stick around, Drew.